summer sun is fading as the year grows old. And darker days are drawing near. So now that uh, the nights are getting darker, uh, what we need is a, is a decent torch. Now I've had this guy for a, a number of years and it has a lead acid battery in it, which I've replaced a couple of times, but I thought it was time to, uh, to soup it up and see if we can put a, a 10 watt LED in it. Now I've got videos on the LED and how to set up the constant, uh, constant current source that it needs and also reclaimed batteries, cells from an old laptop um, with uh, a battery management system on there. Um, this is a, another thing that I have a, a video on how I modded this from a, a standard three cell one to a four cell one. So all the links as usual be down in the description. So let's see if we can get this thing converted and, and see how well it's going to work. Let's take a closer look at the individual components. Firstly, this is a, a 10 watt LED and that's nominally from 9 volts to 12 volts and up to 900 milliamps. Now that's going to generate quite a lot of heat as well. So it's mounted on an old uh, motherboard style processor cooler fan. So that should keep the guy nice and cool. Now to drive that we need a constant current source. So again, uh, I won't go through it in great detail here, but there, there are videos that I've done on how to set this up. And simply the pot here is to adjust the output voltage that we want. And the one on the right is to set the constant current. And there are a couple of LEDs that indicate when those functions are, are active. And the final part of the, of the story. So we have four, four cells here and these are ostensibly no name 18650 style cells i've done a bit of research on the on the numbers here and they appear to be made by a company called um, DLG and are nominally 2200 milliamp hours now these are obviously recycled cells so let's say if we get 2000 milliamp hours out of them or 2 ampere hours what I'm thinking of doing is running the LED quite conservatively. If I run this at say 10 volts at half an amp or 500 milliamps, then that will only be five watts, which is half of its uh, rated uh, wattage, but uh, that should prolong its life and also the life of, of the battery. So if we say 2000 milliamp per hours and 500 milliampers drawn, we should get four hours out of it. Now we'll, we'll see how, how real that is. I had this set up before at, at um, different values, so I'm just going to reset this to give us the 10 volts and 500 milliampere out. I've temporarily disconnected the LED and just put the voltmeter across the output. Previously I was running this at, at full power, so the output voltage is currently set around 12, so we need to bring that down to, to 10. Okay, we're at 10 volts. So now I'm going to put it into its current range and we'll adjust the output current. With the meter now set on amps, we'll adjust the output current. Currently, <laughs> uh, we have uh, 744 milliampere hours, and it's this pot here on the on the far right that adjusts the output current. So we need to put that down to half an amp. So now it's set correctly, we can think about the rest of the circuitry. With the LED and the fan connected up again, uh, let's just give it a quick test, make sure everything is working. Yeah, so that looks uh, satisfactory. Now let's take apart the torch and see how we're going to put this in. Let's take this apart and see what we've got to play with. Right. Let's take the bulb out. 
Now we'll remove the old battery. Okay, so here we can clearly see the old gel cell, which is no doubt completely dead. And we have our charging port with some sort of control relay on there. The arrangement as I see it will obviously be the, the battery in, in the back there. I've just temporarily put this support back in, which has got the, the switch on off switch control on, on this side and our charging jack. So my idea is simply to cut this piece off here and the, the hole that's there is just about the right size for that to sit in. I'm not at this point going to try and, and focus the thing at all. I think we'll just put it together like that and uh, see how it goes. So with that sitting on, on there uh, we'll have enough room before the, the the spacer. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fix this on yet. Once this is cut off, I'm guessing possibly just with some epoxy. So let's get this pit cut off first and then see where we go from there. With the old bulb holder removed, just testing, we can see the LED clearly through the, the center of the hole there. So I'm thinking just to uh, for the moment, maybe just to hot melt glue that onto the end there so that we can test it and uh, see where we go from there. With the LED attached now firmly to the reflector, we can turn our attention to the other parts of the wiring. So here is the, the uh, switch mechanism. So let's remove these wires from it and we'll put this in series. So that wiring is now complete and uh, just for the avoidance of doubt I'd removed the, the batteries just in case I shorted anything out. Now it's time to retrieve the batteries and uh, do a quick test. So in the torch this part here is the switch and that just gets pressed against so if we press that in you can hear the fan spin up and uh, we've got the, the light on there. So. Now I'll do the final assembly and then uh, we'll go out in the dark. My first test outside was uh, frankly disappointing uh, due to the fact that uh, there was no focus to the to the LED. Popped back inside and uh, I had uh, a lens. There's a lens kit that you can buy that has a little reflector and a, and a mounting bracket as well. But in this instance, uh, in a pinch, uh, just uh, quickly hot melt glued the, the lens to the LED there and uh, let's see if that's improved the result. So I'm testing the torch here in this piece of uh, wasteland. There is a little bit of street lighting around but I think you can agree that it's, it's pretty black. And turning the torch on we have a reasonable amount of illumination there. It's, uh, lighting up certainly the, the, the frontal area and I guess the question is would it be that much brighter if we turned the power up full so let's try that so back outside now having tweaked the current up to 950 milliamps and it's still at 10 volts so that's just under 10 watts and let's see if it makes a, a big difference I don't know if it's uh, apparent on the camera, but it's uh, definitely a lot, a lot brighter and I'm not sure if we will be able to see, but there's a hill just in, in front of us and um, before that was completely dark and now it's uh, reasonably well illuminated. So uh, I think we have the conclusion there. We can adjust the, the power to, to suit if we want. Obviously long battery life, then we keep the power down and that would suit me or we can uh, turn it up again.